Hello, this is Martin from Bug Bounty Service again. Um, today we are going to take a look at something called broken session management and what that means and how it relates to bug bounty and penetration testing. So we have an application here, as you can see on the screen, and it's, it's a healthcare application, um, pretty standard, and there are different sorts of logins. So we are going to log in with something called DR admin, um, which is an administrator account effectively, and then a the password. So we are going to log in and see if that works and that worked. And now we are logged into our admin portal. So pretty straightforward, nothing really uh, spectacular at this point. Let's take a look what happened actually behind the scenes. So when we proxy that traffic through Burp, then we can see what actually happened. So we see here, this was our first request, which was get the login page. So this is simply like a get request in order to, to load the page. And nothing really spectacular happened. The page was loaded. You here you can see the HTML and certain JavaScripts which have been invoked and stuff like that. You can always on Burp use the render function that gives you like the browser rendering um, if it works, yeah, it does. And here you see that. So this is this is our first request, nothing spectacular. So the first real interaction took place at the post request. So the post request um, was used to actually submit the credentials, right? So the credentials um, effectively are down here. So this is the username. So there's two parameters, username and password, as you can see this here. And we send a post request um, with another parameter on the login PHP um, called login, right? And then what happened, what the response was, the response is interesting, right? Because the response tells us that a cookie has been set. So whenever, like, well, in, in many cases, when, when we deal with cookies, right, um, the server sets a cookie upon successful uh, provision of the username and password. So you can see this here. There was a cookie set, which is called DRPS, and that's the cookie value, right? So um, you see this here, this is the, the cookie value. And then it has an expiration date of Tuesday 28th of March, which is five days from now. So the first thing I see here is that's a pretty long lived cookie, right? Like because um, today is the 23rd of March and it's valid for five days. But this is, at that point, it's just an observation, right? So what I'm going to do, I go back to the browser and in the browser, I invoke something, say like an admin function or something like this, right? So I can click here on doctor's new appointments and I can click on those users and I get some information about this patient, right? Like John Smith and where he lives and all these kind of things, right? So this is an authenticated call. Effectively, I can look at this in Burp. I did this query. So I queried like uh, the DR API, um, with an appointment ID, and then I got the, the response here of that specific user, okay? So that's an authenticated call because I need that cookie, I need that cookie here in order to make that call. Without that cookie, I should get an error message. So let's test this out. I'm going to send this to repeater, right? And I actually make two copies of this. So on the first one, I simply submit it as normal as, it, as I've just done with the cookie and I get the res response. So what happens if I remove the cookie, if I delete the cookie out completely, then I get nothing, right? So this is, this is how it's supposed to be um, because now I'm making an unauthenticated call and I don't get anything back, okay? So, so far so good. What we are going to do next is we are going to log out, right? So we are going to log out here, securely sign out and take a look at that sign out request in Burp. So you can see this here. So first thing I notice, which is not nice um, in this application, but this application is, is vulnerable by, by design. So not a problem here, but basically I did a get request to the logout PHP. Normally those kind of actions should be post requests, but more in a later video around this. But what I see here, um, the cookie got deleted, right? The cookie that got deleted because I logged out. So it seems good, right? Cookie gets deleted and all these things. And if I go back to the website, I see I'm logged out now. So I could go back to the login and then 
it asks me again for username and password. But here is where the broken session management actually comes into play. Now what happens, remember earlier when we were still authenticated and we called an authenticated function, um, I sent this to repeater here, right? Remember that? And what happens if I send this to repeater again and then I use the previous session cookie when I was logged in? That should not be good anymore, right? But let's check it out, what happens. And there we go. Look, this actually still gives me a response and that's a bug, right? So we logged out, that means that session cookie should have been destroyed. But the session cookie was not been destroyed. It's still good, I can still use it, right? Even though I'm, I'm technically locked out here, but the cookie was not invalidated. That's a, that's a big problem. And as you remember, Earlier, I said and the cookie is good for five days. So potentially for the next five days, I can use that cookie, even though I have signed out on the website. Um, this is also referred to as broken session management. And it's a bug you regularly encounter in penetration tests and in bug bounty hunting. I hope that gave you a little bit of an overview about cookie hand handling and session handling. And until the next time, have a great day.